I'm going to read Answer to Job by C.G. Jung. On the back cover, it says the following. Considered one of Jung's most controversial works, Answer to Job also stands as Jung's most extensive commentary on a biblical text. Here he confronts the story of the man who challenged God, the man who experienced hell on earth and still did not reject his faith. Job's journey parallels Jung's own experience, as reported in the Red Book, Liber Novus, of descending into the depths of his own unconscious, confronting and reconciling the rejected aspects of his soul. This paperback edition of Jung's classic work includes a new foreword by Sono Shamdasani, Philemon Professor of Jung History at University College London, described by Shamdasani as the theology behind the Red Book. Answer to Job examines the symbolic role that theological concepts play in an individual's psychic life. This video will cover excerpts of the foreword to the 2010 edition by Sono Shamdasani. On 29 May 1951, Jung wrote to Aniela Jaffe from his tower at Bollingen, I have landed the great whale, I mean answer to Job. What did he mean by this? Answer to Job is the culmination of four decades of Jungian thought. As Marie-Louise von Franz recalled, Jung wrote in one burst of energy and with strong emotion during an illness and after a high fever, and when he finished it, he felt well again. He later remarked to von Franz that, quote, he would like to rewrite all of his books except Answer to Job. He would leave that one just as it stands. In his prefatory note, Jung wrote that he had been occupied with the central problem of the book for years. No wonder, for it was in answer to Job that the theology first articulated in the Red Book, the themes of the progressive incarnation of God and the replacement of the one-sided Christian God image with one that encompassed evil within, found its definitive expression and elaboration. In the winter of 1913, Jung embarked on a process of self-experimentation. He deliberately gave free rein to his fantasy thinking and carefully noted what ensued. He later called this process active imagination. He wrote down these fantasies in the black books. These are not personal diaries, but rather the records of a self-experimentation. The dialogues that form these active imaginations can be regarded as a type of thinking in a dramatic form. When World War I broke out, Jung considered that a number of his fantasies were precognitions of this event. This led him to compose the first draft of the Red Book, which consisted of a transcription of the main fantasies from the Black Books, together with a layer of interpretive commentaries and lyrical elaboration. Here, Jung attempted to derive general psychological principles from the fantasies, as well as to understand to what extent the events portrayed in the fantasies presented in symbolic form developments that were to occur in the world. Jung recopied the manuscript in an ornate Gothic script into the large leather folio volume, which he illustrated with his own paintings. The overall theme of the book is how Jung regains his soul and overcomes the contemporary malaise of spiritual alienation. This is ultimately achieved by enabling the rebirth of a new image of God in his soul and developing a new worldview in the form of a psychological and theological cosmology. In Jung's fantasies during World War I, a new God had been born in his soul. Jung saw this figure as representing the uniting of the Christian God with Satan, and hence as depicting a transformation of the Western God image. Now, when we say God image, Dr. Jung later said that human beings can't differentiate 
God, the metaphysical God, from the God image which appears in the depth psychology of all human beings. Dr. Jung said, I understood that the new God would be in the relative. If the God is absolute beauty and goodness, how should he encompass the fullness of life, which is beautiful and hateful, good and evil, laughable and serious, human and inhuman? How can man live in the womb of the God if the Godhead himself attends only to one half of him?